If you search putting technique, you are literally getting thousands and thousands of different opinions and results. But the good news is, is today we're gonna simplify all that confusion, and more importantly, we're gonna give you a couple of keys that you can do that are gonna help you improve your putting technique and start helping you make a few more putts. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And putting is a simple motion in some regards, but it can be super confusing and can become very technical if we don't watch what we're doing. So what we want to do today is I'm going to give you three things, three technical things that I think for the most part in my 25 plus years of teaching are pretty universally agreed upon. Now there's different thoughts and different things, but what we want to talk about today are the three things that I think if you do these, you're going to be rolling the rock and you're going to be making a few more putts. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to leave some comments specifically on putting. Do you like what I had to say or maybe you disagree? Or more importantly, do you have a technique that's worked for you that might help your fellow golfer? So today we're going to talk about the three things. First one that we're going to talk about is the length of stroke. Now, in my drills and in this technique that we're talking about here today, I like to use my Reimer short game trainer. I use it for a variety of different things. I've already done a few videos on it with chipping, ball position, but today, in terms of the putting technique, here's how I like to use it and here's the tip. The first one is the length of stroke. How far back should the stroke be, the putter travel, versus how far forward should it travel? Now, there's a few different opinions there, but basically, what you want is you want the putter to travel back and through roughly the same distance. So I've got the uh, Reimer short game trainer down right here. And what I'm gonna do, just make a few practice motions and I'm gonna swing it back to the end of where the training aid is and then all the way forward to where it is. And so this is just a simple concept, a simple thing for me to make sure that I'm taking it back and through the same length. Now, how long should that stroke be? Well, it depends upon how far you want the ball to travel. Now a common mistake that a lot of amateur golfers make, and this might be you, is they'll have a forward stroke that's much longer. So it looks something like this. They're set in here, they take it back short, then they go through very long. And what you'll notice is, is that the length back and through is not the same. So that would be tip number one from a technique standpoint is let's have the back stroke length and the forward stroke length kind of the same way or the same thing. Now at the end of this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you a tip that I give to all of my golfers, beginners to tour professionals that helps them really start rolling some putts and making some. So be sure to stick around for that. Now, the second technique that I wanna talk about, okay, is getting the ball in the right spot, ball position, all right? So ball position, basically, here's what you wanna know, is, is that it's pretty universally agreed that we wanna hit the ball on a slight ascending motion as the putter is traveling ever so slightly up. So in order to do that, I want to position the ball just slightly forward of center. So once again, I've got my training aid down here, and I just push, position it straight out from the, the small little arrow there, and I've got it just slightly forward of center. And so when I go ahead and hit a putt, I now know that I'm actually hitting just ever so slightly up on the ball because I've got the ball in the right spot. So that would be technique number two. Make sure that the ball is just slightly forward of center. So we've got the length of stroke, we've got the ball a little bit forward. Now the next one that I want to talk about here from a technique standpoint, and I don't know if you like that with ball position, okay, if, if not, leave, you know, leave a question or ask, maybe you agree or disagree with that, but I'd be curious to see what you have to think in terms of ball position. The third one I want to talk about is the shape of the stroke. Now this is one that you're going to get differences of opinions on, so I'm going to keep this pretty general. Some people believe that the, that the putter should travel in a little bit of an arc. So basically when you're set in there, it travels on the back, it travels a little bit in, back to square, and back in a little bit. Some people, some instructors from a technique believe that the putter should work on a straight line back and a straight line through. What you want to know is that either one of those really works, you just don't want to be like off the rails per se. You don't want to be like way one way or the other. So once again, when I set in here, I've got my training aid down there it creates a straight line for me. So when I take it back, I just wanna make sure that the putter is basically either the same distance from it, if I wanna straight back and straight through, or maybe it arcs in just a little bit. And I just use the training aid and the visual of a straight line to help me feel that, so that I'm not taking it way inside, or I'm not taking it outside or something like that. So that would be tip number two, technical tip number three, excuse me, is the shape of the stroke. 
Now, the fourth and the final one I want to give you before I dive into the, the, the drill to kind of tie all this together is head position and keeping the head steady. Now, people focus a lot on, hey, keep your eye on the ball. That's a technical thing they say. But basically, you want to keep your head steady. So when I'm set in here, I've got the training aid right there. I've got this little arrow pointed out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that my left eye, my lead eye, stays looking right here, stays right equal with that arrow all the way back and all the way through. And that allows me to keep my head nice and steady so that it's not moving when I'm putting. So that would be the fourth technical tip that I would give you. So we've talked a little bit about the shape of the stroke, okay, how that should be. We've talked about the position of the ball, talked a little bit about where the head should be, and then hitting up on it a little bit. So the tip that I want to give you, and this is a, this is a golden one, this is one that I've used for a long time and has worked well. And we call it the look away drill. The look away drill. So when we're set in there, what you're going to do is you're going to put something just kind of back and behind the ball. So I'm just going to take a coin. I've got a penny. I'm going to put it just a little bit back here. I don't know, 8, 12 inches, doesn't matter. Okay, but it's behind the ball. And what I'm going to do is I get set in there. And right at the moment of impact, I'm going to look back at that penny. And I'm going to keep looking at that penny until I believe the ball has reached the cup. So I get set up. Look at the penny, I keep looking at it until I believe that the ball has reached the cup. And by doing that, that keeps my head centered, my body centered, and allows me to hit the ball in the center of the face and make a good roll on it. So putting technique is something that can be pretty confusing to people. Next time you head to the golf course, have a couple of those ideas in mind, and if you do that, you're going to start rolling the rock better and making a few more putts.